Thanks for checking back at Busy Lady Life channel. Today's video is all about peppers. I love peppers, I like growing peppers, and I wanna share a little information about peppers and some recipes that you can see in my videos. First off, the jalapeno. I love the jalapeno. I've been using and growing them for a long time, lots of recipes. They originated in Mexico um, on that Scoville pepper scale for heat. It's on the mild to moderate, opposed to other things. I love it in salsa. You can stuff them with cream cheese, wrap some bacon around them, grill them, put them in drinks. There's endless recipes for jalapenos. Super easy to grow. Here I am picking some other peppers that accidentally snuck into my bunch. This was my last harvest of my garden. I'm getting ready to pull it down. I live in um, the central Midwest, so it's getting a little cold at nights and cold in the mornings, and these things aren't gonna flourish. So some of the recipes, this is one of the ways that I store them. I freeze them. Um, honestly, I, I sometimes don't have time. I work full time. I just take the tops off, throw them in a bag, in a freezer bag, and I'll go back to them if I can't use them actively right away for a recipe. This is my, what I've gotten from this season, which I had four plants. And these were the mammoth ones and they didn't really go that big. So every year's a difference. You can make jalapeno relish, which I have a recipe to that on my channel. You can add your jalapenos to Jardinere, which this was water bath canned, and that is a recipe on my channel. I don't have hot sauce, but you can make hot sauce. I'd like to, that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of saving up most of my peppers. Next video that I'm gonna be putting up soon is a jalapeno mustard. There is some jelly. I'm sorry, the next one actually is the jelly. That is continuance of the relish. Here's the jalapeno jelly that you can put over cream cheese and use a cracker with. You can make jalapeno powder by drying it. Endless things to do with jalapenos. Other than just to eat them um, in your food, there's different ways to preserve them. Next is the poblano. I didn't really have that success this year with poblano. Um, like I said, it wasn't a really good pepper season for me. It was an okay pepper season, um, but not my best. Sometimes it's all depending on the weather. So these usually are larger. These are originated in Mexico. The Scoville scale for them is extremely mild. Most people will stuff them, roast them, or they'll dry them when they're really ripe. Here is a banana pepper. I had three plants of those. It is okay harvest. Um, Scoville scale, very slightly nothing, like barely anything, just a tingle. I pickle them. I also made a banana pepper honey mustard, which I have a recipe and a video for that. You can add them to salads. And they look like a banana, so that's why they called them banana peppers. And I also store them just like I have most of my peppers. Just put them in a container and freeze them until later use if you can't. For making pickles or relish or mustard, that's the way I do it. Now, a cousin to the jalapeno, I'm sorry, the banana pepper is going to be a peppercini. There's slightly, peppercini slightly more spicier but that also is another pepper that's really close that you would just pickle, you can put in salads. And I had a harvest of those, which also I had probably two or three plants of those and was okay. Again, it's not a big pepper year. So here is a little clip of our pepperoncinis. Sometimes pepperoncini plants are hard to find from what I've heard. And again, I just threw them in with the banana peppers. I mean, they're so close. Um, I have a recipe for Mississippi pot roast is what you can use pickled pepperoncinis for. Put them in your salad. Olive Garden, when you go there, 
you get pepperoncinis, pickled pepperoncinis. Here I have some Tabasco peppers. I had three plants with these, never done it before. Want to try my hand at some sauce, some Tabasco sauce. I don't have Tabasco sauce on hand. So when I'm showing you a sample of the sauces you can make, it's just a regular hot sauce. Now, but now pepper, Tabasco peppers are higher on the Scoville scale than the last three that I got. It's probably just above the jalapeno, maybe a little bit further than the jalapeno. It's got more heat than some peppers. And then again, same thing. I just take the tops off and then freeze them. Here's some just regular bell peppers. So I've never really had good success with bell peppers in my garden. I would love for anybody to tell me tips. Maybe it's my soil. Maybe it's not rich in something. I've never got them where they're fully large like you would get at the store. But when they're ripened, they turn red. I've never had any yellow ones. I've tried to grow them. It just never a success. And then I just chop these up and throw them in a freezer bag and I use them all season for recipes if I'm not gonna use them on hand. Here's some other things that you can do with peppers. And here's the missing peppers that I don't have this year, just this year. I didn't grow cayenne. I normally do because I dry them for my cayenne pepper flakes. I didn't. You can make red hot sauce with cayenne peppers. You can um, add these to your hot sauce recipes. One of these years, I'd like to make my own fresh sriracha. That's made from red jalapenos, by the way. I did can some ketchup this year, and I do want to try my hand at making some spicy ketchup. So maybe I'll make a video on that with the ketchup that I've got canned and then incorporate it with some of those peppers. We'll see. And the very best thing that I love the most for making from peppers is salsa. I love making salsa from peppers. I try different ones. I've had different peppers in my garden before. I've done the ghost peppers. I've done the habaneros. Um, that was last year, didn't do any this year. But I hope you enjoy and embrace growing peppers and you, you like finding out different recipes that you can make for it. Thank you again for stopping back at my channel and looking at my other videos. Please subscribe to my channel and like and give comments. Thank you so much.